Welcome back, everyone. We have a special guest here today on Combat Corner. We have the BKFC 135 champion, Alberto El Indio Blas. Alberto, yes, thank you for coming on today. Wanted to talk to you about that fight you had a couple of weeks ago in Hollywood where you uh, knocked out Keith Richardson in like a minute, brother. Tell me about that fight, man. I don't know. Everything is coming crazy, you know, but I, I knew it. I knew it, you know, something crazy is going to happen. And yeah, you guys see, crazy happen, and the guy start fighting the referee. Thank God my opponent is good, you know. And yeah, everybody's good too. The referee is good too, <laughs> you know. <laughs> when you saw him go after the referee, I mean, you had to know he's knocked out. <laughs> yeah. And the second knockdown, I. I, I knew already that guy can't fight anymore, you know. I don't know the referee why he not stop. But later on, I thought, you know, I'm relaxed, I start thinking. Uh, and I know why the referee not stop. Uh, because, you know, it's title champ, it's the champ, you know. You have to give me more opportunity, you know. And, yeah, that's good. Everybody's good, you know. So you're now 5-0. and oh. you, you have fought five minutes. <laughs> Everyone you've knocked out in like a minute or less. Uh, I mean, yes, talk sir. about that run of five straight wins and, and and how you're dominating these guys in BKFC. You know, I say every time somebody asks me why what I do different, you know. I work hard every single day, you know. Hard, you know. You guys have to see me training. You know, I'm no normal, you know. I'm training so hard, you know, and I make it easy. Every time I'm coming to fight, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm training super, super and hard, you know, and I'm trust what I have on my side, my corner, Eduardo, my command, you know, all my people, I'm trust a lot and yeah, everything is coming good, you know. And you, you trained an American top team in Kendall, I saw? No. Not anymore? I'm training America, no, I'm training uh, before America top team West Kendall a okay. long time ago and now, long time, I'm training in Young Tiger Foundation, you know? Young Tiger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you were born in uh, in Matanzas, Cuba? Yes, sir. And when yeah. did you come over from Cuba? Almost two years already. Eight years. Eight years, my bad. Eight years. Eight years. Okay. You know? my, yeah. my, father, my father was born in Cuba. Um, oh, nice. A long, a long, long time ago. <laughs> okay, a long yeah. time ago. <laughs> So uh, yeah. I mean, you 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 were you did. I saw that you were in wrestling, correct? Yes, sir. I you... um, I'm the you know five Q1 champion wrestling. You know, I'm the national uh, Q1 team. You know, I'm crazy in wrestling. You know, and now I'm crazy in big AC too. You know. <laughs> so so I saw that you did MMA first, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And what what did you take from MMA? I mean, because you know you you. That requires the jujitsu and all these other things as well. And then, because hands wise, I don't think anyone can stand with your hands. I mean, you're you're hitting people and dropping them like like that. Um, but you yeah. move over to BKFC, and you know, what did you take over from there that you brought over here to BKFC to be so dominant so fast? You know, my experience. You know, jump to MMA to BKFC. Give me, you know, more. I'm more comfortable now, you know. Mm -hmm. I only I can be only tank in my hands, you know. Mm -hmm. I really am good on my feet, you know. I'm really yeah. good on my feet. I can move, I can dance, you know, no more. And yeah, now I'm comfortable on my feet. I'm coming comfortable on my hands. Only I have to think um, about my hands, you know. And yeah, now I'm good and I'm at home right now in Big AC. Big AC in my home, you know. Yeah. So 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 when you when you were going into that fight. What what were your thoughts in the back when you're getting ready to go in for this fight? You're fighting for a championship. You know, you get these opportunities. One, you don't get these. You don't always get these opportunities. You have the yeah. opportunity, and you're in the back. And what are you telling yourself? Only think about my baby grow. You know, okay. only think about my baby grow now and with me. You know, thank God, and think about all my family, all my team. You know, all my people close to me. Oh, oh, you guys, you know, doesn't matter you close to me or not close to me, you know. I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about everybody, you know. And I knew it. The guy go bring to me a lie in the table, you know. 
the guy, mm -hmm. the warrior, the warrior guy, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and ready for go 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, I said before, you give me 30 seconds, you give me 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds or one minute, mm -hmm. I'm going to destroy you, you know. Whatever side, whatever left or right, I'm going to destroy you, you know. I have power. So, you so know? who are who are they talking about now? Who are you fighting next and defending the championship now? Because I know, don't care who is coming. You know, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care who is coming. Pay. You know, people talk and I think mandatory is coming. River, yeah, that okay. guy River, yeah, okay. Always, I'm gonna respect every opponent coming in my way. Always, you know. But I say you have to be ready mm -hmm. because before. I'm not the champ. Now I'm the champ. And when I'm the champ, I'm going to work double hard. Mm -hmm. Double hard, you know. And training double hard for me going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Because everything I want to do right here, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything, you know. So yeah. what, what is it like? I mean, you, you live in Miami, right? Yes, sir. You, where, where do you live in Miami? You live in, uh, in, in Kendall or Ailea? I live here in Coraway. Coraway, okay. In Coraway, yeah, Coraway. So you live in Miami. You're fighting in Hollywood. How many it's people it. are out there to watch you fight? Your fam, your friends, your fans, <sighs> and, 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 and in comparison to fighting somewhere else, when you get to fight down here, how exciting is that for you? It's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> because not only Cuban people, not mm -hmm. only Latino people, you know. Yeah. Everybody, everybody know me. Everybody yeah. go coming to watch me. You know, and mm -hmm. hard roll live. Harrow Hollywood Casino is crazy. There's, there's mm. nine. Wow. Well, can you repeat that? It, it went it went out for a second. Yeah. When I start, you know, look up, I see so many people. I say, what? It's crazy. So doubt, yeah. you know. My boy, Gaio Duran, you know, so doubt almost every seat, you know. And I'll sell a lot of tickets too. And yeah, mm -hmm. the biggest is 62. Nobody go forget. Nobody, you know. No, that was the biggest BKFC ever. It was uh, the one yeah. that we just had. Um, talk about the fact that now Conor McGregor is a part owner of BKFC. Have you had a chance to to chat with Conor McGregor or you know DM or I know he posted you when you won. Yeah. So you know what is that? What have you seen so far with Conor McGregor being involved in the BKFC? I, I, I see so far, you know, Conor McGregor. Jump into the cage and give me the bell again, you know. And yeah, I'm saying, uh, from the end, the guy like what what I sent to, and yeah. And now the guy call me the Q on flash, you know. And yeah, it's crazy, you know. Everything coming together, and now my head, you know, my mind crazy, you know. <laughs> but I gonna be focused. I gonna wait for my next fight. Yeah, I gonna wait. Gonna jump into the cage, give me the belly, and say, "Bro, you the real Q1 mm -hmm. Flash," you know. And yeah, mm -hmm. go see. When do you want to fight again? Hey, I'm ready to fight again. I'm gonna fight. <laughs> it's supposed to me fight in September 13th, right here in Miami again. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready. Ready, so, ready. You know. So have you have have you been? Hit? I've watched all your fights. Have you been yeah. hit yet? <laughs> Not yet. No, yeah, my man. No, yes. No, yes. You know, thank God. You thank God. You know, that's thank the God, perfect you know? way to. That's the perfect yeah. way to win. Yeah, you know, nobody. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. No want. Nobody touch my face. Yeah, no, not like it. I don't like it. You know, and because I don't like it, I woo her and I move a lot and mm -hmm. yeah, and destroy people a lot. You know? <laughs> what, what would you say was your toughest fight so far? Because I watched them all; they were all done in a minute or less. You know what? You know what? My tough yeah. uh, fight, my uh, debut, and because the first one, the first one. yeah debut, and because you know because I'm coming to MMA mm -hmm. to BKC and yeah, it's, you know it's weird, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my debut and later everything easy, you know. Easy. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Well, well, life in Cuba compared to life in Miami. Oh. Talk about the differences of life in Cuba to life in Miami. I don't think a lot of Americans don't understand life in Cuba. Like, they don't have any idea what goes on in Cuba. No. You know, I'm, t I'm talking before uh, the saying uh, about my life uh, when my money, because I, I want to do a 
mini movie, you know, people mm -hmm. know what I ha what happened to me before and w how life changed. And yeah, Q1, I don't know, Q1 country crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to do a lot of things for be the best, for eat, yeah, for try feed your family, yeah, crazy, yeah. you know. And a lot to all you guys see, you know, what happened in my life before, you know, and how of my course. life changed, you know. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, you guys can watch, can see. Nothing is in life, you know. No, de definitely. People, people in this, people in the United States, you know, they they are spoiled, <laughs> you know. Yeah, uh, Americans know. are spoiled, and they don't understand. Yeah. Like, you know, my father being yeah. born in Cuba, living in Cuba, being in Ca in Cuba when Castro came in in nineteen sixty one, yeah. nine fifty nine, and he left in sixty one yeah, when he was sixteen. Uh, I mean, wow. it's and then family still being there. It, it, it's a uh, it's a big difference, <laughs> you know. Yes, and, sir. Yes, sir. And, and people in the United States, you know, you'd understand that, you know, you go through a lot just to come here. You know, I mean, what yeah. did you go through just to come here? Because I know the story, like, El du remember El Duque Hernandez, the baseball player? Yeah, yeah. What he yeah. went through to come to the U.S. to play for the Yankees? I, I yeah. mean, what did you come, go through to come here? Okay, I had to, you know, I had to uh, go and fly to Panama. I, I go to one tournament, world champion mm -hmm. um, Panama Jiu-Jitsu tournament. And I won the, the, you know, the, the championship. And later on, I had to hiding and wow. run away. I had to run away, you know. Wow. Yeah, I had to run away. I had to be hiding almost three months because people looking looking to me, looking for me, you know, looking for me oh, and man. my friend because me and the other guy stay with me, you know, three months. Yeah. Uh, I had to hiding. I had to do a lot of things, you know. I can't wow. use Facebook. I can't use nothing. You know, wow. I can use nothing. And yeah, after three months, I start work. I go to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Honduras, uh, Mexico. You know, a lot of crazy things happen to me. You know, people, you know, stealing all my shit, you know, from gang. You oh know. my gosh. Yeah. Thank God, give me one more opportunity. You know, mm -hmm. because that day, I can, you know, my life can stop, can be dead. Already, you know, and yeah, God give me the opportunity, and yeah, and I, I enjoy the the opportunity God gave to me, you know. So, are you a Heat fan? Yeah. Miami Heat, Miami Heat fan. I see you're you're in the Heat jersey. Yeah. I'm wearing Miami Heat also. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hundred percent, you know. Uh -huh. I'm from Miami, you know. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you know? It's, you know, I, I really appreciate you coming on here. You know, uh, that pleasure. fight that you had was amazing. It, it, it Thank was fast. You. <laughs> Yeah, 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 thank you. And, and your thing is the backflip. You do these backflips when you win. Yeah, I tend to have my sign. You know, uh -huh. when I finish the fight, I have to do it. It's my sign. You know, yeah, it's your you're signature. Gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, think about me, or you're gonna, you know, you never gonna forget about me because I'm doing this backflip. You know, that backflip is the best. Do you, you know? use the wrestling and grappling? I see sometimes you go in, you grab them pretty good, and then. I mean, yeah. you, had, you you finished one fight just punching the guy in the ribs over and over yes, and sir. over. Yeah. Do you utilize that? And is that does that help you in bare knuckle? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. They're on the hood. They they grab the neck. You know, it's, you know, it work. You guys yeah. can see. You know, it work. And yeah, I can move to, side to side because okay, I I can grab the leg, the hand, the le the neck on uh, the left side, and after jump to the other side and. Back and forth, back and forth. That guy, no, no, where I'm coming from, you know. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's good too. Okay. You know? Well, I definitely look forward to seeing you fighting in September. We're gonna be there to watch this yes, fight. Um, you know, you. we're a new podcast. We started in in January. We have our MMA BKFC section called Combat Corner. Um, our podcast okay. has come on now. The podcast, and and we're thrilled to have you on here. And you know, yeah. as soon as we get this up, we'll definitely be tagging you on it. But Thank you so Same. much, and, and we're looking forward to seeing you fight again, brother. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity, you know. Hey, that's a matter of who I am, you know. That's a matter of, I'm going to be maybe 11 times defending my my, my bed. I'm going to be the same, you know. Let's you go. guys can send to me tests, and whatever you want, I'm going to jump to a podcast and going to do it again, and again, and again, okay? I thank, I thank you so much, brother. 
God bless you, pleasure, man. Okay. Man. Thank you. All right, Same. Alberto. We have Alberto Blas, BKFC 135 bantamweight champion. He's gonna be back in the in the in the ring in September at the Hard Rock, so don't miss it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Bye, my man. You too, Bye. man. Bye. Bye. There you have it, folks. We had Alberto El Indio Blas. He is the current BKFC bantamweight champion. He's now five and zero. He's finished all of his fights within a minute and 15 seconds. He absolutely blitzes people pretty much as soon as the fight starts. He utilizes that wrestling background, grapples a little bit, and just starts pounding people fast as hell. Blistering fast with his hands. So it makes sense that Conor McGregor says the Cuban flash because he really, I mean, his, his hands are lightning. You know, we really appreciate him coming on here. Um, We've now had a couple of champions from BKFC as we continue to grow Combat Corner and get these great fighters on here. Again, he will be he will be pr- competing, as he said, in September at the Hard Rock when they come back down here. So he'll be defending his belt against who? We don't know yet. But once again, thank you, Alberto. We appreciate you, brother. And uh, we will see you guys soon. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Uh, come on now, the podcast. And also follow... And us at uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Come On Now Podcast, and on t- and on tw- Twitter X at Come On Now Pod. Come on now.